Well, we got through the first week of guest. Everything went great. And today is Saturday, it means changeover day. That means us out here at Out Camp, we have the day off, sort of. That just means we're not fishing. Jace and I are gonna head down river and cut out a braid. There's a big uh, tree that fell over. We can't get through there anymore, so we gotta go do some chainsaw work. Probably cut some more firewood this afternoon and also cut out some more braids. A big one. Damn it, man. That's pretty bad. Bad and deep. We made the decision that this is not cuttable today. Definitely too dangerous and way too much work. So we're gonna go up to another braid and cut that one out. Well, Jason and I are trying to go up this skinny creek here. There's this massive tree in the way. It's been here for a few years. So we decided today we're gonna to take care of it. We're gonna cut this thing out. That way we can get up the creek, do some more fishing. Yes, I know my chainsaw is dull. I don't have a file for it. section off of this or maybe what you have in your feet okay I don't really trust standing on this I think it's no. just floating and it's deep here yeah I know uh you want me to pull the bed up yeah maybe might be able to just jump, <laughs> like that way. Yeah, like to where I was, was waders, but I can get the boat though. <laughs> I can jump. Don't let you get wet. <sighs> Whatever. I'll wait for it to clear for a second so I can see where I'm landing. Oh, you're crazy. 
It's gonna be an ink uh, drop off too. I know. Full send. Nice. Not that bad. <laughs> when I was a little kid, that'd be nothing. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's a heavy one. I got it. Just had to get it out of the mud. Nice work, Jace. Welcome to Sunset Camp. This is the guide tent, usually. So there will be two fishing guides um, sleeping in here. But me and Steve, since we're a couple, we're getting the bigger tent. Um, I have a lot of organizing to do. It is pretty filthy in here. So we'll see what this looks like when I'm done. <laughs> Let's go fishing! That's a stud right there. Wow, that's huge! That's a pretty one right there. That's awesome. Up river heating up. It's gotta be. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Glad to be 
First chick of the year I've seen. I'm not trying to pretend to be her. So we go after her instead of the baby. Yeah, she's trying to get us to follow her. We'll leave your baby alone. It's okay. It's crazy. There's only one left already. The eagles and ospreys around. Yep. Yeah, I did. What do you think, Tess? You like dry fly fishing? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Pretty soupy over here, but I have to stop and show you guys Bear Bluff. So, whoa, it's slippery. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can see there has been a bear here, I think, already this year. Looks like probably a black bear that likes to come in here and get the eggs out of these swallow nests. See all these holes up here? Oh, and it just came out. There are a bunch of swallow nests up along this bluff. And this bear comes up here looking for eggs up in these swallow nests. In fact, you can see the claw marks right here, nice and fresh. And then right there, the swallow nest. Pretty impressive. Bunch of other claw marks. There's a one there, one there. This is Bear Bluff. The same bear comes here every single year to come and dig out these swallow nests, try to get some eggs. Probably hoping for some actual chicks too. You can see how large this hole is right here. It's because the bear dug it out and stuck his whole paw up in there. Just like that. See those claw marks? Look at all the swallows. Well, now you guys know why we call it Bear Bluff. I would love to get a game trail camera set up here, get some actual footage of that. If you guys know of a good company or a good uh, trail camera to use, let me know. Pretty dang cool though. Now, now that we live out here in the bush and Tessa is at camp all day long by herself, we figured she should probably know how to use the shotgun. Well, just in case we're not around, I want to make sure she knows how to shoot the gun in case a bear comes into camp or moose charges her or something crazy. Mm -hmm. She has seen bears here for a very long time. Right, Jace? Not in camp. Not in camp. We see some around all along the river sometimes, but not very often. Not in camp, but just in case so, we need a refresher. This lever right here, mm -hmm. to press that in, it's going to pull it back. It pops a shell in, push it forward, and then it's loaded, okay? Then all you have to do is take the safety off and pull the trigger. It's ready to shoot. Is this a shell? That is oh. a shell. There was already one in the chamber. So if you want to load one, all you got to do is push it there, up, push it forward, and it's loaded. Got it. Okay. 
So now that we have one in the chamber, we're ready to shoot. We'll get you some hearing protection. Thank you. Hand fell over. Huh? Huh? You know how to aim a gun, right? Uh, yeah, kind of. So with this one, you want to lick down the barrel and have that little ball floating just right on the edge of the barrel. And then put this little ball right on what you're shooting. Okay. Safety's on. Make sure you hold it. It kicks really hard, so make sure you cut it nice and firm in your in your corner pocket there. Okay. Take your time and aim good. I missed. You, you went what? just over it. Oh. So rack that back, go forward again, and you're ready to shoot again. You're still on fire. It's always live until you've put the safety back on. Yes! Got it! Woo! Woo Get these other two. Yep, push it in and then slide forward till it clicks. One, good job. Watch you which where your barrel's pointed. Safety's on. Good job. Thank you. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Put that back on safety. There you go. Yep. Nice job. Thank you. I we think got a regular Annie Oakley right here. <laughs> I think I could hit a bear just fine. I think you could. Yeah, but if he's running at you, could you hit him? Uh, yeah, you could. I feel yeah. like he's a bigger target yeah, than the target. beer can. Yeah, you could. Nice shooting. Yeah, thanks. All right. Let's that was shoot. fun. Yeah. Well, I'd say she hit it. <laughs> she did a pretty good job at killing that can. <laughs> Hopefully she can do the same to a bear when a bear shows up. Hopefully we don't have a bear to show up. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between double op buck and a slug. We're gonna put one in this dead tree here and show you what happens. Here we go. We're gonna do the buck shot first. From close range, what is this, five yards? All right, fire in the hole in three, two, one. Not a whole lot of damage. Let's go for a slug. Three, two, one. Oh, baby. I felt that one. How's your shoulder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slug hit here, blew out the back. Check that out. Went all the way through it. Whoa. And the other one? The buckshot just made it three inches in probably. So top one's buckshot right there. You can see the piece of steel in it. And then this one's the slug and it passed all the way, passed all the way through the tree. <laughs> I was not so while the guys are out fishing, I stay here all day and cook. And I'm making some fresh loaves of bread. Ooh, it's mm. good. Can you guys smell that? Man, it smells good. And tonight we're having um, duck breast and couscous, a Mediterranean couscous, and um, halibut. So, Sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. It's dinner time, I can't wait. Vlog. <laughs> dinner, dinner time!